what I have really is a travesty. So we took in a couple of Morgan dollars, and we took in this coin. Go ahead. That doesn't look like a travesty. That looks like a beauty to me. Well, Hello, silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Here we go once again, heading to Chi Town to bring you the absolute best in numismatic video content. I'm heading to Harlan J. Burke once again, and if you enjoy coin shop videos, be sure to subscribe to see more great conversations like this. Hi, hey, Mike. Good to see you again. Always good to see you, T. It's been a while, guys. It has been too long. I just referenced you on a video that I did yesterday, and uh, and I, I look back, and I had to look, when was the last time Mike and I hung out, talked coins, and made a video? And Too it's, long. It's been forever, man. Yes. So glad to see you here. Yeah, always happy. Appreciate the hospitality. What do you have to show me today? Well, what I have really is a travesty. So we took in a couple of Morgan dollars, and we took in this coin. Go ahead. That again. doesn't look like a travesty. That looks like a beauty to me. Well, that, that side yeah. is absolutely phenomenal. I can and almost do a face reveal in this Morgan dollar. You almost here. could. Look I mean, that, that. that coin would deep mirror proof like pretty much anywhere you could send it, and mm -hmm. I don't think there'd be any problem with it. Yeah. And it's important to know that this happened when they changed out the dies at the mint. So well, a brand new die will give you a surface like yeah. this. Uh -huh. But here's the thing. Is this is not considered actually proof. It's just proof-like. It is just proof-like because to they were making a circulation coin. Uh -huh. When they first made these, they would take the dies and they would put them into a brine mm -hmm. to etch the whole coin. Okay. And then they polished the, the flat spot on the top. Okay. And that's how you get this frosted devices and yeah. mirrored uh, background and it only lasts like five ten strikes and then it's gone <laughs> okay so that was kind of like the 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 mark of a new die mm -hmm. the thing with this coin is that it teaches you that they didn't necessarily change the obverse die at the same time they changed the reverse die. Oh. and so because of that you have a coin that's an absolute monster on the obverse oh man and then somebody tried to correct the obverse to <laughs> make it look like the reverse. So okay. if if you were to look at this coin, you might be fooled at first until you really look at it yeah. and you start to see what the devices look up like on it. But they they've polished this, they have whizzed it. What does yeah. whiz mean? I've heard that term. I know it's not good. I know no, you're it's, ruining it's, a coin. It's polished with a wire wheel. Wire wheel? Yeah, with a wire wheel. What, so, is that like 1970s ideas? Okay. That, I mean, it's before that. Okay. So one of the things that Dang. makes this noticeable is if you turn it like almost 90 degrees to a light source, uh -huh. you'll see like this squiggly line that goes right down the middle of the luster. Okay. Whereas the luster should have a straight line. It should cartwheel. This one bends. Yeah. And that's usually your telltale sign that a coin is whizzed. Um, yeah, this side, stunner. You know, and, and I mean, inside. the coin, even with a regular brilliant obverse, yeah. would yeah. probably that's be worth 75, 80, 85 bucks. Yeah, it's this like, coin is worth melt. It's like walking behind a chick that's a 10, and then she turns her head and. Yoy! Well, it's like we used to say, good from far, but far from good. <laughs> well, thanks for showing me that one, man. This coin is going to be absolutely perfect for somebody who's doing an album that you push the coins into, that you want an obverse and a reverse, because there's a reverse to put on there. Or something like that where you're only going to use one side of the coin. Okay. Because you really, really do not want anybody thinking that you think that this is a good coin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a reputation. <laughs> All right, two dollar bill, red seals. This is an uncut sheet. Yeah, look at that. I, I've never seen anything graded like that, and that is. Look at the serial numbers. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, guys, on my auction when I do consecutive <laughs> silver bars and things like that, they go nuts. But so the way they do it now is the numbering goes down. 
is the, the sheets. And the numbers are not consecutive on the sheets, so when you cut them, they're already in the air glow. Uh -huh. These are really old. Yeah, 1928, huh? And these are 1928 uh, uh, Gs. Yeah, something nice to frame and put and, on your own. And the red seals have an interesting story. Tell me. Okay. So here's the thing about red seals is they are listed in, uh, they're listed in the Constitution. Really? So the United States government decided that it was going to carry a certain number of a certain amount of debt, mm -hmm. and they were just going to issue it as debt. Mm -hmm. The debt that they issued was in the form of United States notes. Okay, and they issued them starting in 1923, I think it was, or or maybe even a little bit earlier. But the small size notes started in 1928. Mm -hmm. They made them in one, two, and five dollar denominations. Mm -hmm. Every time these bills were good for anything legal tender, except for import duties and interest on the national debt and it's in the clause if you read it it says except import duties and taxes on the national debt so um, so how does that leave the printing press were those sold as like a novelty or um, well this is 1920 so there were some things that were going on at the Mint that weren't necessarily all that great, uh -huh. and some things that were a little shady. I have a feeling that this is probably from the shadier side, <laughs> um, because they typically would have cut these bills and issued yeah. them. I mean, that's what they made them for. They made so them for circulation. Them out the back door. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so to have this sheet. What I thought was probably the most interesting part about it is the difference in the way that they numbered these. Mm -hmm. So these are consecutive going from top to bottom, left to write okay. versus a sheet of of current dollar bills which have you know twenty in between each of the mm -hmm. of the serial numbers. And then uh, as these were used over the course of the you know thirties, forties, fifties, uh, they would be replaced every once in a while. But in nineteen sixty six they decided that they really didn't want a whole lot of these in circulation anymore. So they they basically started taking them all in, mm -hmm. and they reissued them as one hundred dollar red seal notes. Huh. You aren't going to get very. Well, you got twenty four bucks there. What's it worth? Um, we are currently asking twenty five hundred dollars for this sheet. This is certified by PCGS. Yeah, I noticed. As that. AU fifty five. Uh -huh. It is absolutely guaranteed uncut sheet. It has all the register marks on it and everything that you would expect. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice sheet in really nice condition. All right. If someone decided to buy that and put that on the wall, would that ruin it over time? With a, I don't believe a, so. I think you could map this. Assuming it's not put in a window and you know natural light. Yeah, as long as it. you don't puncture the 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 holder uh -huh. and uh, artificial light won't damage it. No, it's like fluorescent lighting, LED lighting is mostly what people use now. Uh -huh. I don't think you're gonna have a big problem with it. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing me. That's something. I, I tell you what. Every time I come to a coin shop, I see stuff I've never seen before. I can't say I've ever seen a sheet like that. Thanks, man. Special thank you to these channel members who support my efforts to bring you videos just like this one. And thank you for watching. Now let me show you what I purchased, but before I do, I'd like to invite you to become a channel member by hitting that little join button, and that would help me go all over the place to make more videos just like this one. Back to the rounds here. Honest value never fails. Hey, love these rounds. Some of the stuff will be in my upcoming uh, auction that I do on the weekends. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Mm-hmm.